Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to be filling out a tier list of all the Minecraft mobs in the game as of 1.14.4. So, I guess we'll just get started. Now, the Wither and the Ender Dragon stand out to me because they're boss mobs, so I think they're both going in S tier, just because, well, they're pretty fun to try to beat, plus the Wither drops beacons, while well, it drops another star which you can craft into a beacon. And beacons are really good if you use them in the right way. And ender dragons, well, they give you access to the end cities once you defeat them. And the end cities are pretty important to the game if you want to get the elytra and obviously shulker boxes and a bunch of that other loot. So I think both of those mobs should be in S tier. Now, I'll just go down the line. So starting here with the rabbit. Now the rabbit... It's pretty annoying to kill. It's small, hard to hit, but it drops food. I'm gonna put it in D tier, just because it's not completely useless. I guess it also drops rabbit foot, which can be turned into leaping potions, but no one really cares about leaping potions, so pretty useless. Next one, ghast. Ghast are the only way to get ghast tears, which can be made into regeneration potions. They're also pretty fun to hit back fireballs at them. So that's a plus. I'm going to put them in B tier. Because they can hit you off bridges in the nether. They do fly, which are kind of annoying. But they're pretty weak. And they're not that difficult to deal with. So, yeah, I think B tier is a solid spot for them. The next one is slimes. Now, slimes are pretty important because, well, they drop slime balls, which you need for sticky pistons which are obviously very important for redstone contraptions and slimes are something that you would actually go out and look for in the game I guess they're also used for leads as well so I'm gonna put them maybe B tier just because I feel like you could go without slimes in your game they're not that important and they're kind of difficult to find, and they're annoying, so... Yeah, I think B tier is kind of like in the middle, so I think that's a good spot. Now, wolves. I'm going to consider wolves dogs as well, because they can be tamed into dogs. And dogs, overall, aren't that useful. But they're always really fun to have in your world. And... Well, every Minecraft Let's Play has a dog that is kind of significant. So I'm going to put it in A tier. It would be an S tier if it served a use, but just because they're kind of, I don't know, iconic. That's the only reason I put them in A tier. Now, cave spiders. They spawn in mine shafts, and they inflict poison damage when they hit you. They're really annoying. They drop string and spider eye, but normal spiders do that better and I guess you could turn their mob spawner into a XP grinder but it's kind of annoying like they stick to walls it's hard to craft them into XP grinders and they're not even that good I'm gonna put that in F tier because they're just annoying they don't really serve much use they're not even good in XP grinders and half the time no one even turns them into XP grinders they just kind of break the spawner and leave. No dolphins. I mean, they're cool. They're not completely useless. They lead you to treasure. They give you a speed boost, which is always really nice. But they don't serve that much of a use. Maybe in between C and B? I'm thinking, I'm leaning more towards B. I'm going to put it in B tier for now, but maybe once the tier list is done, I'll kind of look through everything. Elder Guardians. Super annoying. They're not that hard to kill. They drop sponges, which no one really needs. They give you mining fatigue, which is the worst. F tier. No one cares about them. They don't drop anything useful. I mean, it just makes your adventure to the sea temple 
that much more annoying. Endermen. Endermen are pretty important. They drop ender pearls. Which obviously you need to get to the end. I'm gonna put them in an S tier. I think they are that good. Endermites can go in F. Guardians. Now usually they're pretty annoying and I would put them in F. But you can make a guardian farm out of the sea temple and that in turn is unlimited sea lanterns, prismarine, all that stuff. But then again you don't really need that stuff that often. So I'm thinking A tier. If they dropped anything more useful than they would be in S tier. But I guess they're also good for XP. So I think it's I'm still thinking A tier. Magma cubes. What can you turn them into? Strength potions? Something like that? Or fire resistance? I don't remember, but that's just about it. They're not used for much else. D tier. They're kind of annoying. They they're, they only serve one uh, one purpose, and that's to drop magma cream, which is used in fire resistance. No one really uses fire resistance that much. I mean, I guess if you're going to the nether, it can be useful. That's why it's not an F. I think D is a solid spot for it. <clears throat> Maybe C. I'm going to say it's right in between C and D. Phantoms, F. Super annoying. They're just flying there. They, they spawn if you don't sleep. And no one really wants to sleep. I mean, I guess you could want to skip night, but... No one really wants to travel all the way back to their house to sleep. And then you have to carry a bed on you if you want to get away from them. And once you kill them, they just spawn again. They're super annoying. They don't even have any useful drops. I mean, obviously you can repair elytra with them, but you can only do that so many times before it gets super expensive. And then you can just use any old XP grinder on your mending elytra to get that right back up to full durability in no time at all. Polar bears. I mean, they're not annoying or anything. They're just kind of useless. No one really cares about them. They drop fish. It's more. It's easier to just fish for them than to kill polar bears, because they're quite dangerous. They're, they can swim really fast. But they're not annoying. If they were annoying, then they would be an F. But because they're not annoying, they're in D. Pufferfish. I kind of like pufferfish, not gonna lie. I mean, they give you poison, obviously, but... But the poison's not that bad. I mean, how often do you actually run into this pufferfish? Not that much. They're not really annoying, but they're not useful either. I'm thinking D. Actually, C. No. If it had more of a use, it would be C. I think D. Silverfish, F. They don't do anything. They don't even have any drops. Spiders. C or B. They're the main source of string, which can be used in fishing rods, bows, and a couple other things. They're kind of important. They're not really annoying. They're neutral, at least during the daytime, so they don't attack you much. They can climb up walls, but really that doesn't affect its ranking that much. I'm going to put in... I don't know, they are pretty important. I'm thinking A tier. Vex, F. They're pretty powerful. They fly, they go through blocks. They don't drop anything except XP. F belongs in F. These guys aren't even in the game, and they're pretty powerful. Now what's this? This is the... I forget what you call them, but they summon the sharks, and they drop Totems of Undying. Hey, evokers? Pretty sure it's called an evoker. C. Why not? I mean, totem, totems aren't that useful, really, unless you're playing hardcore. If you're playing hardcore, then it would probably go up to B. Because they can obviously protect you against fall damage. 
so yeah. I think C is a good spot. I mean, they're pretty dangerous. They can kill you. Plus, they also spawn the Vexes, which are really annoying. So that would bring its ranking down. I'm thinking C. Witches. Now, originally, I was thinking witches would be like C, or I mean D or F. But then, it can be made into witch farms, which can give you unlimited redstone, glowstone, gunpowder, really all that stuff, even some potions. So they're pretty good. I mean, you can get healing potions from them, which aren't that useful, but if you're playing hardcore and you get a potion early game, it's obviously pretty like uh, life changing. But then again, you have to go through all the work of actually making the witch farm. But I think once you do make the witch farm, they're pretty they're pretty good. I think I'm gonna put them in B, borderlining on A. They could be in A, but I'm gonna keep them in B for now, just in case I change my mind. I guess. Creepers. They're gonna have to go in S tier. I mean, they're the face of Minecraft. They're quite iconic. They drop gunpowder, the main source of gunpowder, which can be made into fireworks and TNT, just to name a few items. And they're pretty essential. The fireworks are essential for elytras, which can make you fly long distances. And yeah, I'd say they're pretty solid. Solidly in the S tier. Skeletons. They're annoying. They shoot arrows at you. I'm going to say C or B. They drop bones. I guess you could get bones from fish. But other than that, you can't really get bones from any places except maybe desert temples. You can also drop enchanted bows which could obviously have good enchants like power or infinity. I don't know. I'm thinking C or B. Maybe C. It's not that useful. But then again, they drop arrows. But arrows aren't that useful. I'm not going to put up a B. Because if you find a skeleton grinder, or a skeleton mob spawner, then they basically, you're set for arrows and bones, basically your entire Minecraft life. And that's pretty useful, so I think in B. Strays. You barely ever see them. They give you, like, slowness or weakness. They're annoying. They spawn in ice biomes, which are rarely seen. I'm not going to put them in F, but I'm thinking D. Because no one really cares about them. I mean, they're rare. And they shoot poison arrows at you. That's just about it. They don't burn in daylight. So they're not that useful. Blaze. Well, you can't have any sort of potions without blazes. So obviously they're pretty important. They're pretty dangerous in the nether fortress. They make they make that fight interesting. Like, nether fortresses would be quite different without blazes. I'm thinking A tier. Maybe even S. I'm thinking A tier, borderlining on S. Iron golems. Well, iron farms. I mean... They can give you unlimited iron. Iron's not that useful, but... S tier. I think S tier. I mean, really just because of iron farms. I mean, they drop unlimited iron if you make an iron farm. And iron is pretty useful throughout your entire Minecraft career, even in the end game. So I'm thinking S tier. They also drop uh, poppies, or roses. I forget. No, they're poppies now. They used to be roses. Bring back the roses. So yeah, they're kind of useful. Shulkers. I mean, they're dangerous in the end. 
but shulker boxes are really useful. A tier. Okay. Baby husk. F. They give you hunger. Or they affect you with hunger at least. And like they're small, they're fast, they're hard to hit. They don't burn in daylight. Definitely F. Baby zombies. I'm putting them in D, just because they don't give you hunger whenever they hit you. So they should automatically be better than the husk. Okay. Baby zombie pigmen. I mean, they're not bad, they're just kind of, they're always neutral. They only really affect you if you punch them. So I mean, I don't dislike them, but they don't really drop anything useful. They're just kind of there. But then again, if you do actually punch a pigman, they can be pretty dangerous. I'm thinking C or D. I'm going to put them in D just because they don't have a use. Now, I forget what these guys are. I'm pretty sure... I think they're Vindicators. That sounds good. Um, that sounds correct. Vindicator. Now, you spawn at Woodland Mansions. They don't drop anything useful. I suppose you get emeralds or axes from them. So, I mean, they're not completely useless, but they're difficult to beat in one of the mansions. I would put them in C, but that would be saying that they're equal to the evoker, which is definitely not true. So I'm putting them in. The, I'm putting them in D. Zombie villagers. They're definitely not as good as regular villagers, but. I mean, they could be cured into a regular villager. And if you don't have a village around, then that could be really useful. So I'm going to put them in A tier. I'm also noticing that there's not a regular villager on this tier list. So if you're wondering, a villager would obviously be an S tier. I mean, you could get basically any item. You can get enchanted books, some really good armor, good tools, sometimes even diamond tools. I mean, you could get blocks such as brick and clay, if you want clay. So yeah, they would obviously be an S. I don't think I need to prove my point anymore. Baby zombie villagers. Let's be honest, there's not really a difference between them and the baby zombie. And they have to be equal. Wither skeletons. Obviously, we need them to summon the wither, because they drop the wither skulls. But then again, they're kind of annoying. They inflict the wither effect. I'm going to put them in A tier. I think they're pretty solid. Husk. D tier. Maybe C. But they spawn in deserts. They inflict the hunger debuff. But they're not as bad as the baby husk, so they get bumped up a level. Zombie pigmen. Now, gold farms, obviously. So you get like unlimited golden carrots and golden apples. They're not that annoying. They're not, I mean, they're neutral all the time. So you don't have to worry about them until you punch them. I'm thinking B tier. Zombies. All they could be used in XP grinders. They drop rotten flesh. Rotten flesh isn't useful whatsoever. They can drop poisonous potatoes and regular potatoes. But no one really wants potatoes, and they're kind of easy to get. C tier. I mean, in the middle. They're not good, but they're not bad. Drowns. They do everything a zombie does, except they drop tridents, gold, and nautilus shells. They're pretty good. I mean, they're annoying, of course, but. 
but they're also really useful. I guess baby drones, C tier. They do everything a regular drone does, but they're more difficult to defeat. Pandas. I mean, they're cute. They don't serve much of a purpose. So for that, I'm just going to put them in D tier. I mean, they only spawn in jungles, and in a certain part of a jungle, so they're kind of rare. Yeah, I think I think D tier is a solid, solid spot. Llamas. All they do is drop leather, and they spit at you. They're not annoying. I guess you could put carpets on them. I think in D or C. I'm gonna put D borderlining on C. Pillagers. Now. There are AFK raid farms, and they can give you insane loot, and give you a lot of arrows, emeralds, enchanted books, totems on dying, all that stuff. I'm going to have to put them... Probably B. B, maybe A. In between the two. Okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them in A because I mean raid farms are really good. They can give you so much stuff, so they have to be in A. I mean ravagers, they're hard to kill. They do a lot of damage. They break leaves. I mean they're cool, of course, but they're not useful. So they go and see. Well. I am noticing that there's not all of the mobs in here, like a lot of the passive mobs like cows, pigs, and sheep, they're not in here. So I would put cows probably A tier because they drop steak and steak is really useful along with leather which can obviously be used as books which can be enchanted. They're also used in enchantment tables. So yeah, cows would be definitely be A. Sheep? They drop mutton, which isn't as good of a food source as cows. But they drop wool, which is used in beds. And getting a bed early game is really useful, so you would have to be an A as well. And pigs. Pork chops are the same as steak, at least cooked pork is, but they don't drop anything else on the side. So I'm, I would put them in B. Yeah, they would be B tier. And bats would be an F. Super annoying, they're small, hard to hit, only spawn in the dark. I'm trying to think of any other mobs. Parrots. Parrots would be... I'd say D tier. Actually, no, C. I mean, they can be tamed, so they're not that bad. Yeah, I would have to put them in C tier. Chickens. Ooh. They make egg farms, they drop feathers. Raw chicken. I have to put them in A. Maybe, maybe B. I'm thinking more of B because raw chicken isn't. It's pretty good. I mean, actually, automatic chicken farms. Ooh, I don't have to bump up, bump them up to A. I'd say chicken will be in A. I guess cats, cats and ocelots. Ocelots would be an F. Actually, D. Because they can't be turned into cats anymore. You can't even really tame them. But I mean, they're kind of cool to see. So I put ocelots in D and cats in C. I mean, cats. No one really likes to tame cats. In my opinion, they're not as good as wolves. So I would put them in C. 
But other than that, I'm pretty sure it's basically all the mobs. I might have forgotten some that are not on this list. But yeah, remember to like, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye, everyone.